Well, this is Miss Sanju from the Fall School. Today we are going to discuss the poem Television by George Bernard Shaw. George Bernard Shaw began his writing career as a critic. He wrote many plays, poems and novels. He tried to bring about positive changes in the society like equal rights for women, equality of all men and so on. He received the Nobel Prize for Literature in 1925 and an Oscar in 1938. In this poem, the speaker wishes that the television had programs that showed no violence and highlighted only happy things. He wants to have shows specially made for children, which would teach them how to love and care and teach the grown-ups how to help and share. What is the theme of the poem? As you can see here, the theme is reality of the world versus the speaker's wish of an idealistic world. This poem is divided into three parts. Now let's read the poem. You know I sometimes wish I could get in that glass screen surrounded by wood. I would change the programs one by one no more terror or murder with gun. Political corruption would be no more with speculators robbing the weak and poor. The poem begins with a wish. As you can see in the opening line, you know I sometimes wish I could. Here the poet wishes to enter into the glass screen that is surrounded by wood. But why? He wants to enter into the screen to change all the programs that showed only terror, murder and political corruption. What do you mean by terror here? Terror means fear, extreme fear. And political corruption happens when the leaders of a nation go against the rule and do all dishonest things. Where the speculators, means people who make vast sum of money, cheat the weak and the poor. So the poet bemoans or feels sad because of the sad state of affairs in the present world. He is unable to watch the acts of violence and corruption that are telecast all the time for viewers. He wishes that he could change all that is being shown on television. By expressing this, he wishes he could change the world. This world of ours I would fill with joy, a brand new start for every girl and boy. Mother nature would bloom anew, all mankind's dreams would come true. With birds and beasts, flowers and trees, with no more poisons on every breeze. The waters in each river and stream would be pure and clear like in my dream. This part deals with the way the poet would like to see the world become. The television would mirror a happy and joyous world. Every boy and every girl means the youth would see the beginning of all things good and beautiful. Mother nature, a wondrous nature in its purest form, would be devoid of poisons. What do you mean by poison here? Means pollution. All kind like water pollution or air pollution. So, the mother nature would be devoid of pollution and negativity. Just the way the poet has seen it in his dream or in his mind's eye. Yes, all the programs on my TV would be specially made for you and me. I would teach the children to love and care, the grown-ups how to help and share. Each job of work that has to be done shall be shared by everyone. There will be no more rich and no more poor on my television and that's for sure. In this stanza, the poet plans to telecast shows that would help mankind progress in a 
constructive way. These would teach the young to be loving and caring and the grown-ups to help and share. Share their knowledge and experience with those who need them. The poet thinks of a land where everyone shares each other's responsibility and he is having his dream to have a beautiful land. The lines where he says each job of work that has to be done shall be shared by everyone. In this line, what quality is being referred to? The quality of teamwork where everyone shares each other's responsibility. And in the following line, there will be no more rich and no more poor on my television and that's for sure. Here also we can see a virtue or a quality being referred to and that is equality. So the poet wishes for a world where everyone is equal and there is no divide between the rich and the poor. So viewers, the entire poem can be broadly divided into two. One is the reality of what the world is and the other the poet's wish of how the world should be. Hope you like the video. Thank you and take care.